how do you find your zones? So this is the more difficult part, but it's not really difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult. Is it hard? Sure, it's hard, but it's very worthwhile. There's two different ways to do it. Um, on a bike, what you do is you go all out for 20 minutes. And I will tell you, the first time I did, it's called it's it's called a lactic acid a lactic acid threshold heart rate test. And basically, what it means is you're you're you are burning lactic acid instead of once you get to that zone of lactic acid above your uh, when you're burning when you're burning lactic acid instead of glucose, then that's when your <clears throat> your body starts to say, "I can't go any harder." So you have to know that it's not really maximum heart rate yet. Um, that's usually quite a bit higher, but it's, it's, it's how long you can sustain yourself before you're starting to go downhill. So, um, all out on a, on a bike for 20 minutes. Um, and you, then you, um, average your heart rate for that 20 minute period. Um, on a run, you basically, um, can do the same thing. Although even indoors, you can test what's called your VO2 max, and you can ch check these. There's videos online on how to do this. But running with your VO2 max to kind of get that lactic acid threshold heart rate um, right before you stop burning sugar and you start burning uh, more lactic acid, um, you go all out for 10 minutes. And on, on a pace, like on a 1% treadmill, probably is the most is the most accurate way because you can pace yourself the easiest there. Um, and then those last, and you just keep going harder and harder to find your VO2 max, harder and harder every minute. And until the last two minutes, you go as hard as you can. And when you reach that level, that is your, that is your VO2 max pace. And then your heart rate will be at your VO2 max by then too. 